Good morning. My name is Kay Traddles. I am the executive director of Mary Shelter Gulf Coast. We are a home for homeless pregnant moms. And I just want to spend a, a brief moment giving you an overview of what we do when our moms come to us. We make sure that they further their education by getting a GED or if they have a high school diploma, maybe getting a CNA certificate, a phlebotomist degree. We help them find employment. We help them purchase a vehicle. We provide child care for their children so that they can work. Biggest impediment to single parenthood is child care. And then when it's time for them to transition 15 to 18 months later, we help them find safe, affordable housing. And I just want to talk to you for a minute about choice. Words matter. Words always matter. And the word choice has been manipulated and twisted in our culture. As Americans, we hold very, very dear our freedom. And we hold dear our freedom to make more personal choices. Those choices should include things like, should I go to college or should I begin my career right after high school? That is a personal choice. The pro-choice movement claims to empower women. Well, let me tell you about the choices that our residents make. As I said, we're a home for homeless pregnant women. When I first began this ministry, I made the assumption that I think most people do, that homelessness predated the pregnancy of these women. My friends, nothing could be further from the truth because homelessness resulted from the pregnancies of these women. They lived with mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, significant others, husbands, boyfriends. And when they got pregnant, they were given a choice. Get rid of it or get out. These moms chose homelessness to protect and keep their babies. So I just want to say, you know, thanks for the empowerment, pro-choicers. Thanks for the choice. That's what my residents say. Yeah, thanks for that choice. It does not come from that kind of a choice but from all of the pro-life ministries that exist, the maternity homes, the pregnancy resource centers, the churches, the community groups that lift up and empower these women. I want everyone to hear loud and clear that in Alabama, we got this, and we have for many years because we have existed for many years. Last November, the citizens of Alabama added an amendment to our Constitution, and in part it read, this state acknowledges, declares, and affirms that it is the public policy of this state to recognize and support the sanctity of unborn child in manners and measures lawful and appropriate. This amendment turned the it into him or her. This amendment opened the door for HB 134. And let me just say that I have never been prouder to be an Alabamian. May God bless the great state of Alabama and may God bless America.